guys, this is Shadow Kirby 707 and welcome to Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. And in the last part, we did the Peach Interlude. This time, we're at Twilight Town in the Bowser Interlude! Yes! I love this interlude, by the way. This is my favorite one. Black! What is this place? Why is the light so weird here? It's spooking me out! The light's odd because this is Twilight Town, my lord. Should be treasure here. Let's put the screws into one of these creepy things and find the Crystal Star. Sounds good to me, Haggy. Let's get to it. And surprisingly, Lord Crumb is here. Let's talk to the villagers of the Twilight Town, huh? Yee! Shush! Whoa! Okay. Speechless. No, 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 no. Am I going to be turned into a pig again? No. Maybe. <laughs> oh, Crystal Star? I had no idea. Really? Please spare me. Now, you could talk to the people that's inside the inside the houses, but it's very hard to get to... Ugh, I want to talk to people inside the house. There we go. Nobody's home, really. Everyone left for the day. Please, 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 please. <laughs> oh, poor Twilighters. Now, unfortunately, I can't seem to get Mary down attention, so I think I can't get him. Let's talk to this guy. Dot, dot, dot. I'm dreaming. Yep. Just a bad dream. Gonna wake up any second. Yeah, sure. Keep on dreaming. Troll later. Keep on. Oh, wait. Did I get somebody? I, I could have sworn I saw something. Come on, I have something here. I have something. I saw an exclamation mark. Come on, game! I'm pressing the A button and I saw something here. Come on. I saw something here. Aw, oh, man. I saw something. Come on. There we go. Um, today's a holiday. Really? It is. Honest. It's National Not Get Eaten by Monsters Day. <laughs> I never knew that would exist. That's actually pretty cool. National Not Get Eaten by Monsters Day. That's actually pretty cool. I never knew there was a dialogue for this house, but that's actually pretty cool. I still want to get Mary Dower if possible, but I highly doubt there's one for Mary Dower, but oh well. Wait, can I talk to the birds? No, of course not. About is not a, a crow whisperer. He's a poster whisperer. <laughs> what about you, sir? Yee! Ah! Ah! Ooh! Ah! Okay, just a bunch of screamings. And there's Lord Crump. And there's anybody else? Nope, that's it. Let's talk to Lord Crump and see what he's up to. Hey, what are you doing, Lord Crump? Oh man, I'm pretty sure Baldum said she lost her super bomb bomb somewhere around here. This stinks. Really, this whole deal is extremely bad, 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 bad. I got a cowboy up and make a serious comeback here, or else. What's he doing? What are you looking at? Hmm? <laughs> I like how Bowser backed away in the cutscene. Bam! Got it! I am the man! Now we gotta crush Mara and get the crit story in one fell swoop. Hot diggity dog! Buh, 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 The luck of the moon is still riding shotgun with me. You there, suspicious guy! You know something about the crystal stars, don't you? Uh, somebody there? Hey, what's the big idea, Turtle Boy? You looking for the Crystal Star too? It's sweet. Those help the Crump come back. Now then, let's get to it. You'll be telling me everything you know now. Uh, actually, it's you who's gonna spill every bit of info out of your big ugly head. Yeah, sorry about that. If you don't, if you hesitate at all, I'll show you no mercy. Whoa, whoa, whoa there, big guy. I mean, no. Wait, what am I afraid of? You? Buh, buh, buh. If you think you can take me, then try it, Chubby. Oh, he just called Bowser Chubby. Oh, Chip, report! Oh my god, I love this interview. This interview is hilarious. Buh, buh, buh. Yeah, you like that kind of a lot of dudes, huh? You feel like talking yet? Oh, it's on, it's on. <laughs> you dare scoff at us. Koopa Clan, form up! Koopas versus x Knots. haha! This is hilarious. An army, and everyone is at Twilight Town's completely empty. Everyone ran out because it's gonna be an ugly fight. Whoa! Well played. <laughs> so, what's it gonna be, tough guy? Yeah. What are you gonna do now? <clears throat> Buh. Oh, I got a lot. This is why I keep one of these around. Sorry, suckers. Eat this, turtle dorks! Super bomb! It's coming! <laughs> that didn't do anything. That was a dud. Huh? That was it. That was your big weapon. It didn't even go off. 
<laughs> this is how you do it, amateur. Watch and learn. Oh, Bowser, you probably should have done that. Oh, crud. Yeah, this fight is over, and everyone completely died. No, Toy Town is destroyed! No, that's my favorite place. No, it's not destroyed, guys, it's not. But yeah, <laughs> I find that into the video the most funniest of all the entire game. But no, I'm not gonna save. Let's just keep on going. Oh, that was a funny interlude. That's my favorite one. Uh, the Bowser interlude. That's my favorite one. I love that one. <laughs> it's just funny seeing Lord Crump and Bowser just meeting each other and then fighting all of a sudden. And having two armies in one town. Insane, isn't it? You. You have distinguished yourself in battle, amigo. You were worthy in my eyes. You may use the ship to blast go anytime you like. Ah, many thanks to you. This ship can get us back to Rookport in no time. Let us away with through this coconut pit and back home. Come, everybody. Ah, I can't wait to get home. We've been looking forward to this so long. Returning home alive is all the treasure I need. For real. Now get this boat moving. Well, that is all there is to it, then. Am I correct? To see you, Captain Mario. Ah, uh, Mario. Huh. Oh. Francesca, Frankie, what about you guys? Are you guys coming? We're going to stay here. It's been tough at times, but I think we like this place. Wait, really? Even though it's deserted and it's full of pirate goats and monsters and jungle beasts? Okay. Yes, I think we can make a fun life here with my sweet Frankie. Hey Mario, give my regards to the boss, will ya? Yeah, I'm gonna stay here. It's a great place to live without any ghosts, eh? Yes, very good. They'll be rather happy here, eh? Let's keep you on our way, hmm? I guess so. Alright, well, see you guys later. Ready, amigos? Cast off! And there we go, back to Rookport. Thanks to, well, I guess Mario, but also thanks to Cortez for landing us the, the Black Skull, as the name of the ship is called. I think that's a reference to the power of the Cure Bean. You know, the Black Pearl, Black Skull. Yeah, a little reference there, huh? Okay, one more, several more memos from Flavio. Month Star Day Circle, and thus our adventure came to an exciting end. Ah, the ship sailed smoothly to Rogaport, and soon we saw the harbor off our bow. I did not find treasure, but I am satisfied nonetheless. Strange though it sounds, for I have found something even more precious than doubloons. Yes, even now I hear the crew reading the dock. The time. Is is to write to close this journal. To all who wander the seas, Flavio's blessings upon you. Flavio. My god, I cannot talk today. Jeez, I'm like skipping every other word. <laughs> well, here we are, back at Rogaport. At last, we return, slather than glory, to my hometown, sweet Rogaport. Yeah, it's good to be back home, actually. Or back to Rogaport, actually. <laughs> of course, it is only because of my courageous effort that we return at all, huh? But of course, you all know that, and you know it well. Yes, yes, Master Flavio. But now, please excuse us. Perhaps Chips will bring us all together again someday. What? Hey, where are... You're all leaving already? Aw, oh, that was harsh. Such is life, Captain Mario. You are anxious to continue your own adventures also, huh? Yeah. One day you may surpass a great and fabulous Flavio in greatness and fabulousness. It is not likely, I assure you, but you should, how you say, shoot for the stars, huh? If ever you should reach the pinnacle, remember to shout Flavio to the wind. That reminds me, amigo. If you ever get the urge to return to Kihal Key, just say the word, okay? I will send you to the island faster than the fastest wind blow, comprende? Comprende. Yes, yes, you giant school, you. Your time in the spotlight is done. Get over yourself. Ahem. <clears throat> Oh, my adored friends have gone, so I will be excusing myself now. If you see me in town, I would prefer you to say hello to me. May we meet again, huh? Alright, see ya, Flavio. Thanks for the ride. Well, 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 little boy. I should think we head for that door at this point. Oh, yeah, I found your door. We probably should head there now. But first, Peach Mail. I'm your toes, old being That can only be an email from Princess Peach. <laughs> Dearest Mario, I have good news. I don't know I don't know where I'm being held, but there's an odd computer called Tech here. By cooperating with this tech, I managed to obtain some of these feeding data. Tech is currently analyzing it, and strange as it may sound, I trust him. Once this 
analysis is done, I should be able to provide you with details of their plans. I'll email you again once I learn more. Be good, okay? Princess Peach. Great Goobery, your princess is no one to be trifled with. We best get to work, too. Alright. Alright, so now that we have Bobbery on our side and the bullet ability, there's a lot of things that we can do. For one thing... Oh. Uh, Luigi's story. Uh, before I do, I do want to explore this area. Yeah, there's a boat panel here, and there's also a badge, and I believe a star piece right behind here somewhere? If I'm correct, I'm not exactly sure. Yeah, there's a star piece and a badge here. And it seems that someone lives here, or at least used to. Well, anyway, we got a star piece here. That's one of the star pieces in Rogaport. And there's also a badge. And this is an HP Dream. Drops Mario attack power by one, but regain one HP per attack. Uh, eh, nah. I don't really care about that badge. Also, don't really care about it. I'm not going to worry about it. <laughs> Alright. Alright, anyways, well, let's head back and read um, Luigi's tale, I suppose. I mean, we got nothing else to do in this video, so... At least the rest of this. So might as well read uh, Luigi's story, since we're here. But first, let's have uh, Gabella out here to tattle this Daisy, and I hate daisies. That's Luigi Daisy, friend. Hazy. Apparently, Hazy is an actor-director. You know, Luigi's acting debut, right? The grass thing? I can never play grass. I want to play a princess, and a prince will make will wake me with a kiss. So romantic. Oh, Gabella, you and your fantasies. I'm Hazy, and I must say, Luigi's a great actor, one of the finest they've seen. After this adventure, we're going on tour to appear on stages everywhere. I'm going to be known as the Red Miracle, and of course, Luigi will be grass. Wait, Luigi is grass? What? <laughs> Luigi, uh, care to explain? Well, I got another piece of that marvelous compass at Jazzafra's tail this time. Bro, I'm telling you, I turned adventure into an art form on that little quest. Whew, it was pretty nut, bro. Want to hear what happened? Yes, of course, I do want to hear your stories are actually very entertaining. The Nintendo Mega Paper Luigi game, please. Anyways, Jazzafra's Town. Alright. <clears throat> as soon as we hit Jazzafra's Town, we were overcome by the glitz and the glamour. It's a very lively place, bro. Tons of daisies live there, and they're always smiling. Yeah, I would not go to that town for one thing. I hate daisies, and two... They're all smiling, which is also creepy. Yeah, um, no thank you. I'm not going to that town ever again. While looking for the piece of compass, I met a hip Daisy named Daisy. Not Princess Daisy. <laughs> or Daisy the Hazy. Hazy was a producer, and he was looking for actor to go on a stage with him. I told him we couldn't, since we were looking for the compass part, you know? But Hazy said we could win the compass part in the upcoming drama slam. He said the so-called drama, drama Llama Plague might, in fact, be one of the parts. Well, we just had to give it a try, so we rehearsed with the cat that hit the stage. Our musical was called The Mystery of the Fiery Hat of Social Awareness. The script was great, but I got really hold, bro. My role, my part, was grass. I played grass by the side of the road. Grass, bro. Grass. I just brought out the ground and had to be silent. Everyone but me had lines. I don't care if I was wearing green. Who cast someone based on that? It was awful. In the end, our musical was the talk of a town, and we won the drama slam. I got the compass part I was after, but even that didn't make me very happy. The huge pocket party just bummed me out more, so I snuck out the back door. But wow! Outside were done the fans! My fan! Fans of grass! They swarmed me! I just couldn't believe it! Imagine! Cheering for grass! I was ecstatic, bro! After that, I added a piece to the marble compass which pointed north. It pointed to rapturous ruin in the Grimble Forest. Then, the voice again. Oh, my cherished Princess Eclair, how do you soothe me? I will be grass for you. I will find you. I will reach you. I will stand by your side and be your Luigi. Wow, sorry about that, bro. Uh, so yeah, anyway, then I got back to my boat. I came back to Rookaport, and here I am. Another leg of my adventure completed. You know, that one wasn't so bad, actually. I mean, I don't think Hazy hates Luigi. <laughs> I mean, he hasn't done anything bad, so I guess not all his partners hate him, so I guess Daisy really wants to join him with Luigi, or Hazy. Did I call him Daisy or Hazy? Well, either way, he's a Daisy. But still, I hate Daisies. They're so mean. Alright, 
Alright, uh, so we got still a few more minutes left. <laughs> One thing we can read email, I guess. Alright, let's see what we got. Um, uh, news. Alright. Ooh, what's today? Gumez, age 40, known for napping in the flowers in the West Side Park, was found eating flowers and given a stern warning by authorities. As for, com as for comment, Gumez stated, Oh, I just really love, really love flowers. Now we're hanging out, and before I knew it, they were in my mouth. And I'm so ashamed. Citizens of Rogoport responded with disbelief and grungy support of the strengthening of flower conservation efforts. Alright. Toy Town Shop, yeah, 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 yeah. What else? Cookie for Ricky, what's today's? Ooh, dish. Uh, turtle leaf and a horse tail. Huh. You know, I could do that right now if I wanted to. I can make a turtle leaf and a horse tail. You know, I think I could do that. Do I, I don't think I have any horse tails in my inventory, though, so I'm not sure if I can right now. Uh, I'm trying to think what else I can do. Oh, there's actually a. Oh, you know what? I forgot one thing. Um,. I didn't do this when we got the two ability from Twilight Town. There's actually a shy sprite hidden behind this house. You need to be two Mario for this. There's a little indent, a little indent in this house, and if you go through here, there's actually a shy sprite right, be right behind this building. I completely forgot about this. I completely forgot about it. Anyways, in order to get back out, you just go through here, and you're in a different house with this Koopa in it. And there we go. Uh, these guys don't really have anything important to talk to, but they have nice houses, though. Or is it apartments? I don't know, but it's nice, though. Alright, uh, let's see. Let's actually go over here, because there's actually a place where we can bomb. Alright, bomb this. There we go. And yet again, another shine spray. Awesome. Alright, uh, let's get you out, because I want to make this a little bit faster. At least collect most of the stuff that I can get that's in Robocorp for now. And there's a few more things that we could collect underground. But we'll get to that probably the next part or so. Well, we'll go to the Thousand Year Door in the next part for sure. Hopefully. Actually, hold on. Let me read this real quick. Total Bros. Bazaar announces a uh, Super Luigi. Wait. Oh, I gotta do the... I gotta do the... Okay. Okay, th these um, boards changes after you... Um, after you place the Crystal Star in the... In the door. Yeah. Alright, so let's keep on going. There should be more stuff that we can collect here. And hey, Merlin, hey, what are you doing here? Oh, what impeccable timing. Yes, this is just, this was destined. When I consulted my star chart, I saw a port portentous sign for you, Mario. It went thusly. In the house of the dragon that flew through the air beyond the reversible stair, near the empty black chest that cursed you, lies a clue to help you allies learn. I have no idea what it means, unfortunately. But I have no doubt of its importance as a sign for you and your friends. If you figure out this mystery, come and tell me immediately. Huh. Apparently, there's some more mysteries in Hotel Castle, but we'll do that probably in the next part. But before we do... Um, yeah. Yeah, I think we'll do that in the next part. We'll go to Hotel Castle to figure out this mystery that Merlin was talking about. Alright, so uh, back here there's another boat panel that we can cross or use. And if we go through here, there's actually a treasure chest. And if you guess it, it's another badge. Alright, open here. Yeah, if you open this, it's a double dip. During battle, use two items in one turn. It's actually a not too bad of a badge. If you're really struggling or if you need to be healed really bad, you can use this, you know during battles, but honestly, I have really no use for a double dip. I really don't use it. Well, maybe once I did, but I I don't use it at all. Pretty much just use two items in one turn. That's pretty much it. I mean, not not including the partner's turn. If you're Mario, you can use two items when in Mario's turn, and partners and vice versa. But yeah. Uh, I'm trying to think what else we can do, but I think that's it for now. That's on above ground in Rogaport. Yeah, I think that's it for now. So next time in Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door, we're gonna go to the Thousand Year Door and place a crystal star there and, you know, find more hidden stuff of Bobbery since we have them now and, you know, unlock more bobbable crafts and whatnot. And go to Hooker Castle to find out, figure out this mystery that Berlin was talking about. So, I will see you guys then. So, this is Charlotte Kirby 707. See?
Bye.